up everybody? I'm gonna redo my unroot video just because I felt like I left some things out. So let's get started. So this is uh, my Dread Incredible and I'm running, I'm rooted. Well, I'll show you that. And I'm running um, the Skyrider ROM. And there's a super user permission. Super user permission. It looks different. Um, but that is it. Super user permission says it under there. And it's running it. So yeah. It, it is. This, this is it. Um, so. I'm going to provide you with the link. Oh, before you do anything. Actually, go to your phone when you plug it in. Put it in as a disk drive. You want to make sure you do that. And just press done. Um, let's go back to the computer and it's loaded up my SD file you want to do that okay I just zoomed in a little here is my phone storage here's my SD card let's pull that aside real quick I'm going to provide you with the link and that link is going to um, a download and uh, the link the download the file you want to download is one the one right there, it's going to be called di underscore unroot. It's going to be a zip file. Download it, track it to your desktop, and then when you open up the file, there's going to be one in here. It's going to be, it's going to say unroot. Open it up, there's going to be one in there called pb31img. Um, let's go back. And here's my SD card. You want to open up your SD card? Get the file providing for you. Click and drop it onto your onto the root of your SD card, which means not in any folders or anything. So just put on the actual file and then there, there it goes copying it onto my SD card now <coughs> after it does that um, you can just unplug your phone that's all you need um, one thing I should tell you though is after you do the unroot you want to either download Astro or just put your phone back onto the computer open up your SD card and delete that PB31IMG you don't want that file anymore because whenever you go into your HBoot, um, it's going to try and upload the file. So you want to make sure that it is not in there. Okay, and uh, I recommend using this, and there it is. I don't think so. PB31IMG. Let me zoom in. Okay, and there it is. It's this one right here. The PB31IMG. Uh, it's going to be 139 um, megabytes, so it's a somewhat of a hefty file. After you go that, you just want to close out, close that out. Close it back real quick. You can close the file that I provided for you. You don't need that open anymore. The rest is just to do with your phone. Okay. So what you're going to want to do next is you can leave your phone plugged in. Um, I actually recommend that. So, okay. I just uh, zoomed in my phone. Uh, you leave your phone plugged in if it's dying uh, or going to. What you want to do then is just power off your phone. Um, uh, make sure after you do this just to power, uh, delete that file off your phone. You really want to make sure that it is no longer on there. Okay, once it's powered off all the way, you want to press the volume uh, on the rocker switch, press volume down and power until you get this screen. As soon as you get to this screen, which is your H boot, it'll look for the file itself and do everything for you. All you have to do is sit back and just watch it. Um, Second my SD card, it's found it and it's loading up, loading it right here. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to cut through this because um, I'd rather have you guys see how long it actually takes to download this file or uh, for your phone to upload the file and install it actually. Uh, so, 
Yeah. Um, I recommend doing this, not doing a factory reset. And this is, I think, for this would work for almost any route that you've done. I think what it does is it basically uh, up. It's kind of like updating your phone, but it's not. It's downgrading it. So I was running 2.2 in .2 here, and now I'm downgrading it to 2.1. That's exactly what you want it to do. Um, that's what it's going to do. Okay, after that, after it does all that, it's going to give you this option. Okay, I'm sorry I can't get it to focus. Um, but right here where, the, where the blue is, the blue, it says, do you want to start update? And you get the option of volume up, yes, or volume down, no. You want to press volume up. It's just going to start updating it. And I'm sorry for just such the bad video for such a bad video quality. My camera isn't that great when it comes to um, autofocus and stuff. Okay. Now, like I was saying, I recommend only doing this and not a factory data reset because this will remove your root APK, your root access. It will remove all traces of the root. Doing a factory factory data reset will just remove your uh, permissions but uh, it will not remove the APK so you'll still have some traces of it this is the safest way and the um, I would say one of the easiest um, one thing else you don't have to do is when you're doing a factory data reset you actually have to reactivate your phone this one you do not it's just removing all that and uh, redoing a update for you. So that's exactly what it is it's doing for you. And right now it's still loading for that red bar right there. And after I'm done with this video, I will do a uh, video on how to root your phone. Okay, and it says right here, the blue line then after it's done, say, do you want to reboot device? Volume yes, volume up for yes and down for no. Just do the, press yes again, and this will start rebooting. And zoom out. Now, it's going to show you this screen, and then it's going to show um, like the downloading and uploading screen. This, this screen, it's going to do this once, it's going to stay like that for a while. Do not worry if it does not do anything. Just let it run its process. After this is done, it'll do. Uh, it'll turn back off. It's going to go black again, and then you'll see the HTC Incredible thing will go up, and it'll just reboot like normal. It should still right now. If it does it more than that once, um, just leave it alone. If it goes into, it shouldn't. It will shouldn't go into a boot loop. It's, I mean, it's it's not really doing much where I think it would be able to go into boot loop, but it should not go into boot loop. It should just do this, then go um, into its regular reboot. You have a, a fresh, basically a fresh phone out of the box. I try to do this real fast. I'm, I don't really want a video longer than nine minutes like the last one. Took forever to upload. Well, and if you haven't, um, I'm pretty sure you found the file, um, but the file is actually going to be in the description. The link to where the file is going to be, where you can download it, it's going to be in the description. Okay, let's just zoom out a little. Okay. This is what's going to show up when you first do it. Okay, it's just going to show you the setup menu. I'm just going to skip this um, so I can actually show you that it is no longer rooted. Skip, skip. 
it'll look like like you just first started and well, charge only. <coughs> Sorry if I sound a little muffled. I'm sick right now. So okay, so it's just brand new. There's nothing on there. It shows all the regular widgets and stuff, even showing the press and holds. So it's just showing you how to actually put things on your home screen. This is a fresh reboot of the actual phone, and I didn't have to activate it at all. So just to prove that there's no more root permissions, it starts, the S is started, search people settings, set up its stocks, and there's no super user permissions. So you have now removed root access and all traces of root on your phone. I mean, that, it was that easy. Um, okay, and as soon as this gets up, you can go back up here and put it back in disk drive. And delete that P, that PB31IMG. You do not need that on your phone anymore. Okay. So see you guys later. Peace.